Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Praveen and you are watching Techie Praveen. So basically from today onwards, I'm going to start a new series that is Animation in Flutter where we are going to see a lot of animation techniques in Flutter that is uh, by using player, hero and other dependencies using in Flutter. So if I'm talking about this particular video, we are going to see a very famous animation that is a scratch card animation like this. You have a one button and when you click on it, you will receive a scratch card like this and when you scratch it, you will receive some amount. Right. So, so this type of animation is very famous in online shopping networks, online shopping websites, apps like Google Pay and Amazon and something like that. So I hope you like it. So let's get started uh, and build this uh, fabulous scratch card animation. So I have created a new Flutter project and I have removed all my unnecessary code from main dot dot and made some changes in my foxtech.yml file. So I have made two changes in foxtech.yml. One is I have added one dependency naming stature. So what is this dependency is usually used to hide some content from user. A stature library dependency is used to hide some content from user. And then I have added one image on my asset folder. So uh, I have created one folder in Flutter animation project and added one image that is smiley.jpg. I am going to use this image as a background image of my scratch card. And I have already added my import sketch.dart, created one status widget app body. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a flat button. And what this button is going to do, this button is going to give you a scratch card. So when a user clicks on this flat button, you will get a scratch card. So uh, it's going to give you a container. Container and then I'm going to create a flat button child and flat button. I'm going to decorate it flat button like shape, offline border. For the radius, for the radius, for the radius of circular and this. Now I'm going to give border side. Just a second. Okay. Sorry, so border side, border side equals to dot none. I don't want any border side. And now I want button to be in the center of my screen. So I made it alignment center. Alignment dot center. I'm also giving some padding to this. So this padding edge inserts dot symmetric. Vertical is 20, horizontal is also 20. So you can give the size, height, and uh, looks as uh, as you want because you have a several option to decorate your button. And now I'm going to give the color of this button. Color sort blue because uh, my background is white, so blue colors looks fabulous in in front of white. So, I'm going to create my child. Give me a second. Color. Okay, sorry. Color. Let's do colors dot blue. Colors dot blue. I'm going to create a child text A. You have got a scratch card. This text, uh, this is a this is basically a text that is uh, in front of a button. 
uh, it will the text that is going to show on the button actually so style going to style this button so the style color color will be white because my button is blue so uh, white looks good on blue if you want you can give the font size and font width actually font width is font width or bold and font size is uh, approximately uh, 15 and we will give it to 15 font size comma font size so it will create a button for you so now i am going to give on press command for this so on press it will show you some commands correct right so now i am going to create a uh, one function and this function will give you the scratch card so i am going to create a function that is uh, the name of scratch card scratch card dialog perfect i am going to pass the build context uh, context and uh, i am going to make it a future void future void and what this function is going to do it will give you a scratch card so let's create it it will uh, this function will return show dialog and it's and then builder is going to build something so using the builder build context Text and then okay, fabulous. It will also return alert box. Return alert box. Alert alert. i'm going to give the shape of this alert alert this is round angular border border radius border radius border radius dot circular that is 30 point o is okay and i'm going to give the title for this Title must be aligned. Alignment should be center. Center center. Perfect. So what this uh, what I'm going to do or what or what this uh, function going to do is give you one scratch card uh, dialog box. and this will give you a border of the dialog box actually alignment and is just going to give a child text and congratulations you have won a scratch card or something uh, some Text that you want, a demo text, and then I'm going 
create a style for this text style color colors for black i think black looks good font size font size 18 if you want you can give the font weight actually also the font weight will be bold or italic got it up now i'm going to do the content of the scratch card so content will be content uh, content stature because uh, this library helps you to hide something from user Give you accuracy. Accuracy is to scratch card, scratch accuracy. So it will uh, scratch. Scratch accuracy will give you the uh, the accuracy of the scratch. Actually, brush size. If you want, you can give the size uh, high, low, child container. Child container height plus 300, weight plus width also 300, and then alignment alignment goes to center, alignment for center. So, why this uh, gives you a red symbol? Let me check. It's not in the correct position, I think. This should be under a line. Perfect. This should be in a line, correct. So I'm going to create a scratcher. Yes, I have created. Now I'm going to create a child. Container. So I don't think so. Okay, I need a container over here. Uh, I can use a text field. Uh, I can use a text, right? So I don't need a container actually. Yeah. Or I'm just going to write the values that a user is will get when you guys touch the card. So I'm going to give the style of this text. Text style. Font size will be about 50. Color will be blue, I think. Color looks good. Blue color looks good. Color for blue. And I'm just going to give font weight. Font weight or two. I'm not, I'm not going to. Install the build and see what is my result. It will take some time. And I have to pass this button in this. Okay. No issue. Okay. Cool. So I have got a button. Name is hey, you have got a sketch card. Although I have I haven't given any uh, press command right now, so it will give my only IUI part of this. So I have to remove the one debug from there. So debug mode, debug mode false. So let's restart this first. And yes, your debug mode is off now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a sketcher first. 
and now I'm going to make some changes in my sketcher. So basically, threshold will be about 50, and on the threshold, giving this perfect. And now I will move this container into wrap up with this widget and animated opacity and this will be duration will be duration uh, milliseconds so that is 250 milliseconds perfect and now uh, opacity will be opacity correct okay. so now i have to create a variable double for capacity fine and now I'll move this sketcher into a widget itself that is a stateful builder and let's build this builder in the context and states i have to set the state for this state setter set state and this will return something so i'm going to return And give me a second. Uh, this would be only return. And I have to copy this ledger. I have moved this ledger to this. Perfect. So now uh, I have moved this into a stateful widget, so I don't. Uh, it doesn't require any specific widget to be created. So yes, I think everything is done. I have to make one more change here. That is, uh, get a state. I have to set a state actually. To set a state. Capacity goes to one. Perfect. And now I have to give this flat arrow and scratch build dialog box. To pass the context. I am loading the app and alright, it's working fine now. So uh, I have to give one image, right? Here I am trying to give one image. Uh, instead of this black screen, I am just going to provide a different image. So for this, you can provide the image in a scratcher image. Asset image and with the path of the image is image folder smiley dot jpg. Okay. So I think uh, there will be some change. Image dot asset. I think it's perfect. It's working fine. So I'm just putting this and let me check. And yes, it's working fine. It's giving me an image and it refers to a dollar symbol uh, amount. So it's working fine now. So uh, 
computational spelling is wrong, I think. So I have to make a change in the spelling. Congratulations. Congratulations. Right. So hey, you have got a scratch card. When you click on this button, you will get a smiley. Basically, a background image, your text, and it still is wrong. Congratulations. Congratulations. Right. Correct. So whenever you click, uh, click on this button, you will get a scratch card. And whenever you scratch it, you will get a amount over there. Uh, it will uh, give you an uh, idea of how to create a scratch card. So you can play with the threshold, you can play with the background image, you can uh, play with uh, colors as well. So you can uh, uh, place this scratch card animation anywhere on your app. So I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please subscribe to my channel. And if you are facing any issue, please write it down in my comment section. I will definitely get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you.